guys, this is Create Oneself. Welcome back to my channel. And today I wanted to do a video on two products from Vanity Planet. Now, if you don't know what Vanity Planet is, this website that um, sells products that are for their company, they don't sell any other products, it's just Vanity Planet products, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. I have bought two products from them. Um, I also, no, I actually have three products from Vanity Planet. Um, one of them, I did a review on it. It was called the Scalp Invigorating Massager Thingamajig. I did a review on it. If you want to know what I think about it, please click on the link down below or the click up here. But this is going to be two other products that I bought from the company that I have used over I want to say a couple of months now and this is going to be my fine my only and final review on those products first product is going to be the spin for perfect skin um tool here that I'm holding Okay, you just pop your brush on the spin for perfect skin and you use it to kind of just like, you pour, I, you can either put the soap on the brush head or put um, the soap on your face and use it to wash your face. Okay, first of all, this is a review from somebody who is not getting paid from Vanity Planet to do. I don't have any discount codes for you. None of no affiliate links, what have you. This is going to be my thorough, truthful review on the product. This thing right here, I bought it over, I want to say a year ago. I used it a couple of times and I wasn't a fan of it. And I'll tell you why. I don't like like harshness on my face like does that make sense like I don't like feeling like I'm brushing my face with a brush you know this it had like one for sensitive skin or something one that was a lot more gentle than this one but to me it was still kind of like I felt like I was brushing my face and apparently using these brush stuff it, it cleans deeper inside your pores maybe it does but I honestly think that this is unnecessary the reason why I'm not putting this on the thing is because my smart self because I'm so smart and so talented I decided that instead of buying a new brush head I was just gonna dip the this inside of hot water for it to kill the germs and I don't know what happened but after that I think this kind of melted but ever since that I would try and put it back in and I feel like using stuff like this would be better for like your bikini area to exfoliate your bikini area or even your feet um, your knees your elbows rough areas I don't really feel like it's a good thing to use on your face because I just feel like it's too abrasive for my face and I wasn't a fan of it. I don't think this is a necessary buy. If you want to have that, you know, fun thing, it might work for you. But honestly, if I buy this, or if I were you and I would to, was to buy this, I would use this more so for my body. It might work great for body acne if you have um, discoloration in your chest. This could be a great exfoliating tool for you. I got this on... Groupon for $16.99 plus shipping and handling. So the price, I wasn't crying too much about paying for this and not loving it, um, even though I really could have just kept my $16. Next product from Vanity Planet. This product I actually really, 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 really like. And of course I got it in the same color as this this is actually my favorite color in case you were wondering this is called the scalp massaging shampoo brush I got this for 20 bucks on the website because it's on sale and not just that I believe right now it's on sale but I got it through Facebook for 20 bucks this I love 
Do I find it necessary? No. I don't think this is for somebody that has a sensitive scalp. I don't. Um, I think this is more so for people who want to get a more of a thorough clean in their scalp. I don't have a dandruff problem and this claims to help with dandruff or flakes or what have you. I don't have those problems so I can't really say that it does help with that but I will say it definitely does make washing my hair a lot more fun and relaxing. This um the vibration in it is really good. I know in the last review I just did not like that product, but this, however, I like because the bristles, I want to say, is a lot more um, flexible and a lot less stiff than the other one, and it's longer, so, um, and I also like that it vibrates. Um, I do like that it vibrates, but I will say this. Um, I feel like most of the vibration comes from the top area rather than the bristles itself. So, um, you guys, I turned it on. I just turned it on. Um, I feel like when you put it here, you actually, you know what, you do kind of feel the vibrations here. But just holding it for a long time and using it in your hair after a while, the hand that you're holding it with kind of starts to feel tingly. And that's a feeling that I don't really like. So just know that you'll get that when using this product. And honestly, that is the only con as far as this product goes. This is amazing. It also claims to help with hair growth. Again, I don't do length checks, so I don't know if it actually does help, but I would not be surprised if it does help because vibration and massaging helps with blood flow. And when your blood flow is going to your hair, it causes for faster hair growth. I don't think I worded that properly, but yes. I love this thing. This thing is amazing. You guys will not be disappointed. Of course, I love the color. For this, I would give it 4.8 stars out of 5 stars. And this, I would give, I would say, a 3.8 out of 5 stars. So, yeah, you guys. Thank you for watching this video. And if you like videos like this, please thumbs it up and let me know what you think. Subscribe for more creative content and all that good stuff. All right, you guys. Bye. Come on.